this is what I want to do. I can't help painting the way I paint. That's the way I paint. And I think that's what, that's, that's what I always say to anybody. I said, don't worry about just paint the way you want to paint. You've just got to forget what you think the expectations are as to how you should paint or draw and just do it. There were many, many, many paintings around um, which you look at and you think, well, they're competently executed, but they lack something. And I think what they lack in most cases is this tension um, which is in there, the tensions you see in the landscape. And that's what draws me to a particular bit of landscape when I'm painting it or drawing it. When you're actually working, you, you look at an original drawing and you move that drawing around a lot and you take elements from another drawing and include those in the composition. So there's a mixture of all sorts of different aspects of the landscape that I've been dealing with. Well, I'm fairly methodical about the way I work, you know. Um, I just do it in a fairly sort of matter-of-fact sort of way. Um, and just, it's the, real, the real passion to me comes in the actual painting. It's the pushing and moving of paint around that I really, really that really turns me on. The drawing is a means to an end. I like to do the drawing because it's a way of seeing. I can see what I'm looking at. I can see which here, it gives me a starting point for the paintings, and then the paintings take over in the process of being painted. So for me, it's, act, it's the actual act of painting that is the most exciting bit about it.
You'll find in my still lifes that there's very often a horizon line, exactly the same as it would be in a landscape or a seascape. And all I'm looking for in that landscape is something which is particular to the landscape. So if it's a coastal one, I'm going to have the shapes and rhythms of boats. I'm going to have the shapes and rhythms of cliffs. I'm going to have all the paraphernalia that goes with that. If I'm painting a landscape, I'm dealing with a similar thing, but I'm looking at the marks that we've made, the buildings which are on it, um, the way that um, lines go across it, man-made lines and natural lines, and the intersection of the underlying landscape. So in a landscape painting, that basic structure of the landscape will be present. What's on top of it will not be a lot different to what goes into a seascape or coastal painting or into a still life. Mm -hmm.